my brother, my sister, sitting on the mountain with your master, I want to challenge you, like in the picture of that, what you can see in your spirit, at a time when Jesus even taught more than 5,000 men with their families, or 7,000. And in the teaching also, he saw they had a hunger physically, and he brought forth this miracle meal. But that's what I want you to go and walk away with today is, do you receive the miracle meal from the master on the mountain? Do you receive the miracle meal from the master? Or are you trusting God so that you will also receive the message, the mandate from the master? So many of them walked away with a miracle meal without the message. Walked away with a miracle meal and the testimony of the miracle meal, but they never caught the message, the mandate from their master. I don't want to be one of them. You don't want to be one of them. It can only be by God's grace and God's mercy. If we ask Holy Spirit to open it up for us that we will walk away from the mountain with a message and a mandate to understand how to have full satisfaction, life joy, favor, regardless of our outward conditions. Let it be so in Jesus' name. That's your master's heart. That's the heart of Jesus Christ for your life. If we are saying, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. They will obtain mercy. Matthew 5 verse 7. This mercy has to do with God's practical help. The empathy from God, but with a practical help and support. Happy, fortunate to be envied are those who can serve, practical help, who can serve, who can help, who can support others, as if unto the Lord, for they will receive practical help, support from God and from others in their calling, dreams and work. Those who come then with honesty and humility, with brokenness and repentance, with teachable, flexible, receiving hearts, with a hunger for more of His Word and His Spirit. They, those guys, their serving, their helping, their practical work will not be in vain. It will not be dead works. It will not become a serving under the curse of slavery. No, it will be a godly empathy in a practical way. It will not be a fake hide out the serving from hurtful, because of hurtful relationships, because of things that happened in their lives, in the relationships that they are fearing that they could, that they fear that they could get hurt again. And shameful or shy personalities. No, it's not a hideout. They're serving their servanthood, their practical help as godly empathy will be called, yes, it will be called the mercy of God. The mercy of God coming to the people through your serving, through the way that you help people. In that way, the mercy of God is coming to the people. Oh, man, you want to be that type of child of God, that type of son, that type of daughter, let it be so in Jesus' name. With true humility, all these principles as foundations, with all that in place, practical servants are always open then, open to be served, open to acknowledge that they also have needs, open to receive practical help from others, because they, they live with humility as a lifestyle. People sent by God into their lives. People sent by God where God wants to show His practical empathy, empathy to you. Receive that also. God wants to give it to you. Mercy towards others. Practical empathy. Yes, this godly mercy. Godly practical empathy. It's a stirring. It's a stirring and an unction created by the Spirit of God in you by the Spirit of God in you. I 
can read to you 1 Peter 2, no, 1 Peter 4, verse 10 and 11. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in his various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, if anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides through the Holy Spirit. God provides. With that strength, in that way they need to serve, so that in all things God may be praised through Christ Jesus. Let it be so. Let it be so. All the, all the apostles there had to wait, wait for the Holy Spirit to come, because according to Acts 1 verse 8, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come over you, and then you will be my witnesses. Then you will serve the nations. Then you will serve the nations with my love, with my heart, being the letter of Christ, being the light, being the salt, being the ambassadors, being the co-workers of Christ. May God help us to come in such a way that we will receive God's practical empathy, His beautiful mercy, by also giving it to others. And it will just more in and more out, more from Him, more to people, but also in receiving it from Him, that I will live from that place of humility, with quality, brokenness, with a hunger that is genuine, that I hunger to receive more of God and more of His Spirit through the lives of others. I bless you with that. Have an awesome day.